I've got the battery uh, compartments and everything fitted, obviously there they are. Um, I've got the Savaton mounted loosely, it's just held on with a velcro strap at the minute. The gap, there is none, absolutely none at all. And also it's just missing the battery connector. So that battery is going to go up there, that battery is going to go up there like that. It's going to be in series um, here. That's the voltage or a voltage and current sensor. The shunt resistor and everything else is in there. There's the, there's the power switch and there is the power connector. Um, no, not that one. That's the power connector. Uh, these wires here are for what's that 12 volts and these two wires here are for the uh, for the shunt resistor so I can connect it up to the cycle analyst obviously that's the subvaton this is the power lead that goes to the subvaton and that's about it oh yeah I've done the, the battery tidy thing although you can't really see it very clearly I've done that so all the cables and everything else are going to go into there and then I can get a plate, I'll design and build a uh, printer plate that can go over the top to keep it all nice and tidy. So it's coming on very slowly because the design process is just an absolute nightmare. It takes so long to think about things, measure it, print it. I mean these these compartments here, there's four compartments because I had to print it in four pieces um, they take 11 hours a piece to actually print so you're talking 44 hours just to print that that was 12 hours believe it or not, I don't know why it took longer than the rest of them and it looks smaller to me so that's that done um, the cable ties or zip ties and everything they're all all threaded through and they've gone over they go over the the centre bar the you know what I mean so that's all done so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wire the subvaton and all these they'll go up into there and then hopefully I'll be able to test it. I'm doing the, the hall angle um, setting test thing in the software. Now this is an absolute nightmare because this room is quite small actually. So I've got the bike upside down, got the wheel off the ground. The reason why I've got it upside down is just in case the motor direction is backwards. Um, if you've got it something standing on here, you're buggered because I, I put it on a chair usually but then I thought if I put it on a chair here to get the back wheel off the ground and it's turning backwards I'm going to be stuck so where's my power switch now power's under there <coughs> kill switch I've got to enable hang on Let's make sure we've got a red light which we have. So now I'll go into the software. Phase current, I'll change that to 10 amps. All sensor test and test. Well, yeah, that was lucky because it's going backwards. So what it's doing now is it actually, because in the motor itself there's hall sensors, uh, to I think, from what I can gather, to detect the three phases. Um, and what it's doing now is it's very slowly going around and just checking to see where the sensors are. And then it will automatically give you the hall angle. Fingers crossed anyway. Looks like it's detecting it. Is that it? Test OK. 
So it's come up and it says 245 degrees. Hey, <laughs> it's done it. So that's the wiring for. Um, hang on, I'll turn it up the other way again. I can do now. God, this thing's heavy. It's over 40 kilo now. So what I've done, this is the ba very base that you need to get it working. The hall sensors, which are those there, I've wired those up so you've got the positive, the negative, the uh, red, yellow and blue as normal. So I've wired those. Incidentally, I'm not using their connectors, I hate them. That just loosely, that's actually in there, that's the uh, the temperature sensor to the motor which is another thing that you need to actually enable and there's also the kill switch um, this is the anti-theft or the e-lock uh, what it does is it disables uh, the sabaton so you need that uh, you either get that wire and connect it directly to uh, the positive on the battery yes the positive on the battery not a 5 volt connection or anything like that it has to be the positive you either do that or you wire it up to a switch which is what I've done um, and then you can do your hall sensor just to make damn sure that the motor turns so I've done that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and figure out these things I think handlebar handlebar is actually the throttle. Uh, the hull meter, I don't know yet, I haven't looked. And then there's also the uh, low speed, high speed, handlebar, I've done that. I've got my 5 volt e brake, and I think this one's a regen or something. I'm sorry about this camera work. It's just not very easy. Break H. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. So I've got those. I've got to wire up. And I've also got on here, which goes to the cycle analyst and the handle bars. I've also got this one, which is the three position switch. So that'll go to that high, low, and yeah, that one there. Slow speed, high speed, whatever. This one is for the temperature sensor of the motor, so I've got to split that split that one there, which I've only just loosely put in because that is only actually plugged anyway. And then I've got the main connector on the cycle analyst to plug in, which I've got to connect up to the shunt, um, the throttle, um, and I don't know. I don't know. It's not easy, I tell you. If you want a plug and play system, don't get a Sabvaton. If you want the ultimate, get a Sabvaton. <sighs> Next step. After about three hours, I think it is, I've nearly done this side. The wiring, that is. Uh, the three phase wires go into there, the whole sensors. You can't bloody see anything at the minute. The whole sensors go into there. Uh, this is the USB charge port. Uh, sorry, the USB communication port, Tony. You dickhead. Um, and that's about it. You can't really see a lot. So I've routed all the wires around to go around the other side. I've got loads of power wires off here. Um, this is to the batteries. This one goes to, or it will be going to the cycle analyst. This one is for the um, ignition switch, as they call it. Uh, so, I hope that's connected anyway. So I'm going to turn the bike round and then start on the other side. How do I turn this light on? Menu. Where's my light? How do I fix the light? Menu.